everyone, it's Laura from the blog ArtReallyHouse.com and today I'm going to show you how to make a homemade bubble bath bar. So these bubble bath bars are super fun for the kids but they're also fun for adults because you can put in some really relaxing essential oils like lavender and copaiba and get in the bath before bed and it's going to help to promote a better healthy night sleep. So this is very similar to a bath bomb except I'm going to be adding in some mango butter to really hold these together. So it's going to be more moisturizing and hydrating for the skin. Now for this recipe we're going to be using baking soda, citric acid, Acid, some cornstarch or you can use air root powder either one is fine and also some sodium laurel sulfur crate I know I am pronouncing that wrong so for now on we're gonna call it SLSA because I really don't know the word behind that but what it is is a natural substance that comes from coconut and palm oils and that's really what's gonna make this foam and bubble what the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna melt some mango butter so I already melted mine and you want it to be about a cup of melted mango butter and I just melted it so I'm allowing it to cool slightly it's still pretty warm so to melt your mango but butter you can either do this over a double boiler or you can make your own double boiler by just placing a glass bowl over top of a saucepan with water under it or you can even do a water bath which just takes some warm water in a bowl like this and then just place your mango butter in a glass dish like this inside of it until it melts. So either way, melt your mango butter, you want a cup of that, and then we're just gonna let that sit aside real quick while we mix up our dry ingredients. So our dry ingredients here, I have 1 4th cup of baking soda, and then I have a cup of the citric acid, which citric acid is an acid that comes from citric fruits, normally lemon or limes. And then I'm doing a quarter of a cup of cornstarch. And like I said, you could also use air root powder for this. And then I'm using a half of a cup of the SLSA. And then I'm just going to whisk these dry ingredients together to make sure everything is well combined. So at this point, if you want to use any essential oils or coloring or glitter or anything to decorate your bubble bath bars, you can do that now. So I'm going to add in some citrus essential oils into my mango butter. I'm going to do about 10 drops of each wild orange and lime because I love that citrus smell. And I also think that these oils are very uplifting. So I'm going to add those oils straight into my mango butter. Now, if you don't want to use essential oils, you don't have to. You can just leave them out. But if you want them to have a fun scent, you can do that. I have some more blends of essential oils that you can use over on my blog for like relaxing and then soothing ones for muscle discomfort, things like that. So you can check those out. I will link that in the description box below. And if you want to color your bubble bar, at this point, you could add in some mica powder. You could do one color. If you want to do multiple colors, you can split this into separate bowls and maybe do a pink and a blue or however fancy you want to get. I'm just gonna leave mine plain today so I'm going to go ahead and start adding my mango butter. Now you'll want to do this slowly and start incorporating it in. The easiest way to do this is with your hands so roll up your sleeves, put on a pair of rubber gloves and just start mixing this up to get it all well combined. Now it's going to make a thick dough consistency kind of like cookie dough and that is the texture that you want so once there's no clumps and it's all mixed together then we'll move on to the next step So we want this to get nice and thick and really clumped together. So to achieve that, you have to kind of knead this like dough for about five minutes or until it thickens up. Okay, so now that I got my mixture all mixed up, I'm just going to put, spoon this into some silicone molds. You could also roll this out onto some parchment paper and cut it out with some cookie cutters to make different shapes. I find this way to be easiest and quickest, so I'm just gonna do this. So I'm just going to fill these up, and you're gonna see they're gonna be wet, and so you're gonna have to allow these to dry. It takes a few days for these to dry fully until they're ready to use.
Okay, so now I have all of my mixture in my molds here, and I'm just going to leave this sit out for 24 to 48 hours or until they're completely dry, and then you can pop them out of their molds and they're ready to use. So when you go to use your bubble bar, you just fill up your tub with some warm water. This size is a perfect amount for one bath, so I'll just take the whole thing, put it under the warm water, and you'll watch it foam and kind of break it apart. We'll go into the bathtub. Then you can swirl it around with your hand to really get it to break apart and watch it foam up and bubble. Or if you make larger ones and you don't wanna use the whole thing at once, you can just break pieces off, put some in the tub, then save the rest for later. So you'll want to make sure to store these in an air tight container away from any moisture. So maybe not in the bathroom, it might be better to store in a different area so they don't get any moisture to them because the water is what's going to make them fizz and bubble and foam and so we don't want them to get wet until we actually put them into the tub so be sure to store them in a dry place an airtight container and if you do that they will last up to six months so these are super fun they can be very relaxing or soothing like i said i have some different blends over on the blog if you want to check those out also down in the description box i have a free master class showing you all the different ways that we use essential oils here in our home so if you want to register for that be sure to click on the link down in the description box and thank you guys so much for watching this video.